<gülüyor> Ama Allah Yine bak İyi Ben harik yok atar e. Ka bir papira pempo Falda Que me quiera mi mano por su falda Si ve que no es santo Es como yo que le gusta la molda Baby no se amara <laughs> so you don't even have a camera. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> you gotta act like I'm not recording. You can't just randomly take out the camera, bro. Gratuli! <laughs> What's up, guys? So, the boys are gonna go train with Matt Sheldon and a professional player from 1904. I'm gonna be here watching and Read my book. Yeah. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> so as these fools are training, I'm reading uh, Alex Bergson book, Leading. It's about his time at Manchester United and the things that he learned in terms of being a leader. In case you guys are wondering how we got a session with Matt, uh, we've actually known him for a while now, since Raph was in high school. Yeah, just one day we, I just emailed him and basically I told him, I think at the time, no, you know what, before that, we met at the, he had like a San Diego meetup and we met him there. And I believe like a year later, um, Raph had a offer with Orange County. So he was already signed with Orange County and we, uh, or I emailed Matt letting them know that we we went to a San Diego meetup and whatever. So basically I, what, what I asked him was if he wanted to train with Raf and he was down and you know, ever since they exchanged numbers and now they, they're basically pretty good friends. Um, so yeah, uh, as soon as Raf found out that he was coming from the off season, uh, he sent him a text and yeah, next thing you know, now we're here training. So, my advice for people who want to meet, you know, other people or want to gain connections is just reach out and, you know, what's the worst that can happen? What, no reply. It is what it is. But thankfully, you know, we got a reply and now we made a good friend out of, out of that email. <laughs>
Uh, what's up guys so my name is miguel for those who don't know welcome to my youtube channel where i'm basically gonna be posting about personal development and things that you can learn from soccer as well as tips and you know tricks for you guys to take on so if you guys want to further your careers i'm trying my best to to learn and to give you the information so yeah welcome yeah so i'm vlogging right now as you guys have been seeing um, i actually have training in a bit uh, tomorrow's first game of preseason, so we're gonna work on a lot of tactics and going over the roles for certain players. So I'm very excited. Uh, this is actually my first coaching role in terms of like coaching, I guess you could say under 14, 15, 16s. I'm currently coaching a JV team and I'm also part of the varsity team, so yeah, you'll be able to put my input on that as well. And yeah, it's kind of awkward. I haven't vlogged in a while, but yeah, let's go to training and. We'll see what happens because I'm not, I don't think I'm recording much because I'm trying to focus on the team. But I'll record like the surroundings and stuff. Got the gear, got the wagon, train. All right, I just got done with the boys. Had a good session. We actually worked on, actually I had, I had like a little fun activities that we were doing in the beginning. And then at, towards the second half of the session, I worked on the formation and the way um, I want them to press and how to come back together as a group when we're defending and just, you know, just tactical stuff like that. Uh, I think they should have gotten it. I mean, I've been explaining it all months since I've been with them. So yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I'm actually going to vlog tomorrow too. So this is going to be, you're going to see it after this. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is all I have for tonight. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up bright and early to record actually another video that I have in mind. That I, actually got, I actually got the idea from today. I was actually talking to the boys about, you know, how losing and like messing up and whatever. Uh, to not take it too hard, to take it as, you know, learning lessons. Learning lessons? Just take it as a learning experience, basically. Um, and I think they got the hang on. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, my me and my wording isn't as good as I want it to be, as you can tell. But, you know, I think I got the message, or they got the message, so that's all that matters. So yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Here's a mess, here's my stuff. I'm at the field. I actually got here a little later than I expected. Uh, and there's like, I think a flag football game going on, so it's kind of loud. Uh, I don't know, hopefully the video comes out right. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we talk about personal development and football development. So I just got done filming it. Uh, I felt kind of weird because there's people watching me. I'm at the park, local park, so yeah. Gonna go home, get ready. Uh, I still have a couple minutes before the game starts today. We play at three. Uh, for those who don't know, I coach at Costa Mesa High School here in Orange County, California. And yeah, so I'm just gonna chill for a bit and then We'll head over to the game. Kind of disappointed myself because I was able, or not that I was, I just forgot to to record. Um, I also focused on the game. But yeah, we lost. 
JV and Varsity lost. Uh, JV lost 3-0. And Varsity lost 3-1. Honestly, we started off very strong. It's just that from, from JV point of view, it was more of the build-up play. Because we just we just didn't seem to know how to connect. So we just played long, which got our forwards tired and our wing backs tired. We're playing a 3-5-2 formation. So, yeah, that was that. Kind of disappointing because that's not at all what we were working, working towards um, during practices. But at the same time, we don't have uh, about like four or five players. And that's due to them playing club soccer because uh, CIF rules here in California state that players can't play club and high school because of the COVID, uh, COVID rules. And in varsity, I just, they're, they're a good bunch. They just need to possess more. And they actually played a 4 5 one, which I think was a disadvantage because we didn't have numbers up top to. Uh, for our, for our midfielders to create chance, but we they had a solid. I feel like our team had a solid back line, and of course, same thing. Uh, we were missing a lot of our starters, but I mean, we learned from it, and now we know what we need to work on and get closer to our goals and perfecting that the the little mistakes that we want to avoid. And yeah, that's about it. So I gotta see my jacket, Coach Miguel. I don't know if it's gonna be, it looks backwards right now, so yeah. Anyways, if you guys like the video, uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, pretty bummed out I wasn't able to record uh, the game, but it is what it is. I think I'll be vlogging more of my, you know, high school coaching career throughout the season just because I obviously want to see my development because at least. Hopefully one day I'm able to coach at a higher level, like professionally or academy level soccer. Uh, that's my goal right now. I feel like I need a lot to develop, but this is why I'm here. I'm here to gain some, gain some knowledge, gain some experience, and to, yeah, perfect my craft. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.